Lynn Bristol will close for good at the end of this school year. The Board of Ed has voted to shut down the Jennings School. Budget problems are to blame. News 8's Jamie Muro on the scene in Bristol with reaction to that planned closing. There are many of us who have fond memories of our first school, that neighborhood family friendly school, which is why some people in Bristol are so upset that this time next year, this school is gone. It's more than just mortar and brick. Emotions can be attached to even the most common of things, like an old school, especially when it'll disappear. It's a sad day for Jennings School. Kind of sad. Why is that? Because it's a good school. Jennings School in Bristol has been around for decades, and the memories stretch as far as the daily lineup of yellow buses. It's a classic. It's when I, I was brought up in Bristol, so it's, it's always been here, and had relatives come here too. But change is inevitable. The school district must cut expenses and with flat funding by the state for the past three years, Jennings was on the chopping block. It's a great school. We have great families um, and great teachers. Bristol Mayor Art Ward is annually required to find ways to balance the city budget. He doesn't like closing schools, but he says Bristol's population is decreasing. And he says schools with a low student count don't get needed state funding. It's one reason why the city's redistricting. It's, it's a catch-22, especially in these economic times because of uh, budget constraints and, and, you know, the need and the desire for the services that are presently in place. Two new K-8 schools open next year, and soon the halls here will fall silent, and then it will be just a building of mortar and brick. We're just worried about where our little ones will be, you know. Some parents also telling me that they're upset because a brand new roof was put on this school about two years ago at a cost of around $800,000. And now they have to wait to see where their child will go next year. On the scene in Bristol, Jamie Muro, News 8.